Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. Last month was a busy one for me and among other things I became a dad for a second time. To honor the occasion I thought I would present a tutorial on a baby themed item. So today we're going to be making a paracord pacifier holder. The pacifier holder has its job in preventing us from losing or misplacing the pacifier. All in all, using paracord we can make a fairly custom pacifier holder. We can control the length, we can control the techniques used and so on. So with that said, let me show you the pacifier holder up close, then let's make our own. Here you can see an example of the pacifier holder that we're going to be making. Usually a pacifier holder sports a loop on one side which is used to attach the pacifier onto the holder. Then we have the body of the pacifier holder which needs to be fairly flexible so that we can manipulate the pacifier. Then, finally, we have a clip on the other side, which we use in order to attach the pacifier holder onto the baby's clothes. Now to attach the pacifier holder onto a pacifier, we pick up the loop first, and we feed it through the handle of the pacifier, so through it, then take the clip and feed it through the loop, then pulling on the clip we pull the entire body of the holder through the loop. And with this you have attached your pacifier holder onto the pacifier. If I briefly address the length of the pacifier holder, different holders come in different lengths. The shortest ones out there come out at about 6 inches or half a foot. Longer ones can reach up to a foot or 12 inches in length. The one that I'm going to be making is going to be a total of 9 inches. So 7.5 inches from loop up to the clip and the clip itself adds another inch and a half. So a total of 9 inches for the pacifier holder that I'm going to be making. If you want a longer one, you're simply going to use more paracord and if you want a shorter one, use less paracord. Now for the supplies, the first supply that I'm going to be using is a piece of paracord 550. This one is going to be about 8 feet long, which is going to be enough for a 9 inch long pacifier holder. The next item that you're going to need is going to be a pacifier holder clip. These clips can be made out of wood, out of plastic or out of metal. In any case though, before you use the clip you will want to inspect it in order to make sure that it is built solidly. This way you're going to avoid the clip falling apart and posing a choking hazard. On the other hand, you will also want to make sure that the clip itself is built out of child-friendly materials. This is because at some point the clip is bound to end up in the child's mouth and you really want to plan for it. So use clips that are made out of child-friendly materials, so BPA safe and so on. You will also need a pair of scissors or a knife in order to cut the cords. 
as well as a lighter to melt the ends once you have cut them. With these supplies ready, let's begin. To start off this project, let's do the initial setup first. Pick up your clip, pick up the two ends of your paracord, and feed the two ends through the top of the clip. Now in clips like this, this is usually a tight fit, so I will use some sort of a tool to help me get the two ends through. Like this. Now pull on both of the ends in order to get the land for your pacifier holder. So let's say something like this. So this is the land of the pacifier holder. So from the top of the loop to the end of the clip. In my case, this should be about 9 inches. We can now move on to the main technique. Now for the body of the holder you have a ton of options. In my case I'm going to be doing a series of two stranded wall knots over the core. So the core is going to be these two middle strands and the two outer ones are going to be the working ends. To start off I'm going to take the left end and use it to make a loop. So like this, a simple loop. Now take the right strand and feed it through the loop from top down. Like this. Now using the same strand, so the right strand, we're going to travel under the two middle strands and under the left one. So under the three strands, all the way to the left side. Now using the same strand, I'm going to travel over the top, over everything, and down through the loop on the right side. Like this. Now simply tighten up. The first knot is usually the hardest and the next ones should be a lot easier. Now we're going to repeat the same process several times until we get the body of the holder. So again, we start with the left strand, make a loop, take the right strand, go through the loop, then travel under the two middle strands, as well as the left strand, like this, then over the top and into the loop here on the right side. Like this. Then again simply tighten up. Now you should tighten up slowly and carefully to get a nice uniform look for your holder. 
So something like this. Two knots done and a lot more to do. Let's do one more knot. Make a loop with the left strand. Take the right strand. Travel top down through the loop. Then using the right strand, travel under the two middle strands as well as under the left one. Then travel over the top and into the loop on the right side. Then tighten up. Continue lining up these knots until you cover the body and you have a little bit of the loop remaining. At that point we're going to finish up the holder. After lining up a series of these knots, the body of the holder is pretty much complete. At this point you can choose to trim the two ends melt them and the holder is complete. In my holders I like to finish up using a decorative knot finish. For this purpose I tie a lanyard knot, then trim the two ends, melt them and finish that way. You can choose either way, both work just fine. For the lanyard knot finish, pick up the left end and use it to make a loop. So a simple loop like this. Pick up the right end, fold it up towards the top, then place the right end under the loop like this. Pass the right end over this top left strand, then under the left end, like this, and finally weave through these three strands going over under over. So over, under, and over. After doing a little bit of adjusting, you should get this diamond shape here at the center. This is a good indicator that you tied everything correctly. Now pick up this top right strand. Pass over this top left strand, so over, then under and through the middle. Pick up the bottom left strand, pass over this top right strand, then under and through the middle. With this the lanyard knot is pretty much tied. Pick up the loop and feed it through the center of the lanyard knot as well. Tighten up the lanyard knot. So first pull a bit on the two working ends. Then remove the rest of the slack starting at the strand coming out, out of the wall knot here. Then do the same with the other strand.
and the lanyard knot is going to begin forming. Now you're going to need to retighten it several times to get a nice look. After finishing up the lanyard knot, the holder is also complete. At this point, I would like to thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial and I hope that you were able to complete it without too much of an issue. Thank you and see you next time.